All right, guys. Um, just want to talk about thinking out of the box. Um, maybe a little bit darker than I'm actually on the laptop today. Um, but basically, what I want to talk about is like me in Spain right now. When I look at the work I do in the UK uh, relating to asset management, a lot of it's a bit up and down at the moment. Uh, but there's opportunities in not doing what I'm doing, but actually developing some of the systems that sit behind that and that's one of the things I'm looking at at the moment but also when I'm sat in Spain I mean some people wonder why I would go along to a call center just to have a look and see what they're doing but the thing is I can actually get a call center up and running quite quickly um, I have a lot better technology and other bits and pieces that they won't have access to um, but a lot of them are geared up for the UK market where I can actually gear it up towards the US market um, why would I do that? The calling charges are normally cheaper. Um, the what else have you got? The the revenue streams are normally a bit bigger, uh, bizarrely, because uh, the call charges are quite high with the the UK uh, due to the routing, etc. Um, but anyway, that's the that's thinking out the box, looking at something else. I've done it before, but at the same time, I predominantly on assets these days. Developing things in Spain. I've spent a bit more time on investments. I'm sort of getting hammered right now because of this poor internet service to the point that they're not even installing yet. Um, I can't. I don't really want to even dwell on it because these guys really annoy me. Uh, but the, the point being is during this time, I've sort of sat there and go, right, what am I going to do? What, what can I do to be beneficial and do something positive, some cash generation? Some cash generation for the long term. Because right now I could turn around and say, you know what, fold the laptop up, get in the plane and go and make some money in the UK. I'm trying to move away from that. So this is the point. Right now I'm trying to gear myself up to doing everything from home. And I'll be honest with you, the asset companies in the UK and the FM companies are so stuck in the 1950s mentality where they just want everybody sat in the office regardless of who even work there. Um, when I say work there, what I mean is... Like, for example, I'm database, so I don't actually need to be anywhere near an office whatsoever. Um, but that's the mentality. It, it's silly because they were trying to reduce the costs. At the same time, the biggest cost is often the building they're sat in. But I, I'm not there to find, sort their finances out. The, uh, the receivers are. <laughs> and I, I say that jokingly, but if you look at the state of some of these companies right now with the state of their finances, you'll, you'd understand what I'm talking about. Moving on, moving forward in a positive way. Um, so what I've been looking at is different things here in Spain. Because you've got to remember they've had a recession um, like the rest of us. Um, so there's been businesses shut down that may actually be viable to open back up. Um, getting the right location here in Spain is an awkward one. Um, also getting the right rates on the rent. Some of the rent rates are just silly. Um, I have no idea where they get the figures from, but I've experienced the same in the Philippines before. The some some people are greedy, some people are stupid. I, it's a sometimes it's a blend of the two, uh, but sometimes it's simply just not viable. Or well, the majority of the time, you've got to spend a bit of time on this. And I know some people have said, "Well, I thought you were opening this or doing that." It takes time to find the right location. The call center I visited a week or so ago was in a, the store used to be a dog grooming place. Um, they still got the grooming signs up there because they don't really care. They're not there for that. It's not um, a front facing enterprise. It's a support enterprise for other ventures. You know, at the end of the day, they are not public facing, not, um, not even seen. Um, so yeah, thinking out of the box, and one of the things that have been coming up the last couple of days is Amazon Associates, and the reason it's come up with somebody I was talking to yesterday and the last couple of days is they're very passionate about gadgets, very, very passionate, and I know he's watching this video, um, but the point being is it's like you need to get over that hurdle of getting in front of the camera. Um, instead of thinking, Nobody's going to watch me. What if I get abused? I don't think I'm really good at this or whatever. Just turn around and think, I'm just going to do this. And don't even think about the rest of it. And the reason for that is 
you're going to talk yourself out of it if you think about it. I would say just get on with it. I mean, it's like me today, my hair's sticking up here at the back, I noticed. But at the same time, is it going to affect what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely not. Am I going to sort me out before we go out of the house? The answer is yes. Um, but the point being is, don't let these things stop you doing what you need to do, which is just get the message out there. Because if you haven't done a lot of stuff on things like YouTube, websites, etc., you've got to turn around and develop it. You've got to turn around and go, right, I'm just going to go in there and do it. And then when you get the grief and go, your audio is rubbish, the, the video is not good, the, um, you did that review and I bought it and it was rubbish, um, these things happen. But at the same time, you'll also get, thanks for that, you made me decide to buy this because yours is the first honest review. I had one the other day relating to pedals I put on the bike because they actually said, you're the first person to actually show me how to put the pedals on. Very simple thing. But you can have all sorts, doesn't matter, even have to be gadgets. Even showing somebody how to boil an egg, you know, so stupid things. They, well, they seem stupid um, to a lot of people because it's obvious. But if you've not cooked before, it's not so obvious. Yeah, for example, you could have boiling an egg in a microwave, boiling a boiling an egg in a saucepan, doing poached eggs. Did a, you could do 20 egg videos, and it sounds crazy, but lots of people look for these very simple things because they're not sure. They may be a student. They may have never cooked before. Um, there's a lot of people who have never had to cook. They've lived with their parents their entire lives, got married or whatever, and now living um, as a couple, and now going, okay, so this is what a kitchen looks like. Or it could be the fact that they they have moved from their parents into um, a, a dorm house or something for university, the military, whatever. The point being is they are having a transition period where this knowledge is useful. The same with doing it with things like Excel, uh, Outlook, Instagram, even the, it's so huge, the market. And some of them won't pay you any money whatsoever, but other ones you'll just go, how did that make like $20? And the reason I'm pushing this out there is because it's thinking out of the box. It's looking at things that you may actually think there's no money in there. And then you just think, you know what, I'm sat here like me. I'm just waiting for my wife to come back. I fire out a video like this. It's going to be about probably about 10 minutes long when I'm finished. But it generates revenue. And it means that you're constantly generating revenue. So even if you're making five cents off this video, um, if you make five cents a month, off this video for time you were sat here just going, I wonder where she's gone to. Um, what would that have cost you? Absolutely nothing. Because you've done it, uploaded it, forgot about it, moved on. And at the same time, you're constantly developing your revenue streams. And it, a lot of people don't bother simply because they don't think there's enough money in it. It's not about the, the five cents. It's about the, the 500 videos. It's about the 2,000 videos. It's about having some videos that go viral. It's about having some videos where you're the only person with that information. It's about networking. It's about getting to the next level where this becomes a constant cash generator. And it doesn't happen unless you think out of the box. And it's not just about YouTube. It's about everything around you. It's like I've said to people before about car washing. Because car washing is one of those things where people stop doing it. Washing people's windows, all this sort of stuff. Here in Spain, here's a business example I may actually look at myself. All the shutters are covered in sand. So every three months, there's a market for cleaning shutters, blowing out the air conditioning units, getting rid of the sand and dust that builds up on buildings. Because there's a market for it if you actually care about your house. I mean, I've got to admit, I look at some of these tiles on the roofs, they want jet washing, they want cleaning, they want um, bringing back to looking like new instead of that layer of mold. The point being is you see the opportunities, you grasp the opportunities, and you create opportunities. If you want to move forward, that's the way to do it. Thanks for watching.